what I want to credit as the first power ballad uh, written. And it's by a group from England called Slade, S-L-A-D-E. I feel like I've heard of them before. Uh, they have a very famous Christmas song. Uh, probably this, my second favorite Christmas song written, and we'll get to that in Christmas time. And they were covered by a heavy metal group called Quiet Riot for a few of their songs. And mm-hmm. Quiet Riot became famous by doing Slade songs. But I want to credit Cra- Slade with the very first power ballad. Okay. And this song is called My Oh My by Slade, and it's from 1983, and uh, I want to say it's the first power ballad, and every hair metal band that has done a power ballad since Mm -hmm. should send money to Slade. (laughs) Because Because, they don't start it, huh? Yeah, so keep this in mind as we listen to the other two, excuse me, more recent ones. So let me go and... Start okay. this, and up. I'm going to mute our microphones to see if the uh, sound comes up better. I made some adjustments, so we're going to see. Okay. Okay, unmute yourself and give me your first one minute reaction to this. Um, am I unmuted now? You're unmuted. You're good. Um, I like it so far. I like it so far. <laughs> but you see the tropes coming up. You see they're all band members and now the truck's coming. Yeah. And so you're gonna see what's going on, and now we're going to change pace a little bit because they all go this way. Okay. And you'll always have this screaming guitar solo, which will be coming up shortly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So continuing. We all need a lot of love in my own mind. Yeah. Copyright strop, just to make sure we don't get kicked off our stream. 
Any other? Th- you heard that screaming guitar solo? Let me unmute. Yeah. There you yeah. go. It gets better and better. Like I, as the song goes on, like it's. And then, first of all, like the guitar is like how it's. Uh, you know how some when you're playing the instrument and it sounds like the chorus, but in the instrumental version type. Right. Yeah. yeah. I like that. And then the simple fact that I like they bring the whole like it sounds as if like the whole uh what is where they at? They're they're going to a stadium because this is definitely right. made for stadium rock. You need twenty thousand people singing this song with yeah, you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So when they join in, like it's is it gets like I said, like it, it adds to it, like it adds like a little flair to it, so it gets better and better. All right. And actually, uh, one of my favorite groups that we haven't talked about yet, when we will, when we do a Chicago Day, mm-hmm. Cheap Trick, which is a Chicago, uh, Rockford group, but close enough. Did you uh, just Cheap Trick? Cheap Trick. That's the name of a group? Yeah. Oh, okay. And they took their name because they were trying to figure out a name for their band. And they were all at a Slade concert the night before. And they're like, Slade used every cheap trick in the world mm. to get the audience involved and stage calls and stuff like that to get mm-hmm. for the stage. So that's how the uh, cheap trick got their name. And that'll make more sense once we go to cheap trick. So let's go on since we're now see how it the now they're celebrating themselves being on the road. Mm hmm. And I think Slade may even consider themselves too ugly to pull hot chicks, unlike the other bands that we'll see. But you'll see. Sing the underwear off of them. Yeah. Not they got the choir. <laughs> you still on mute. And I said, there's Slade. And my, oh my, I think the grandfather of the power ballad. Well, I can see why. That was a good, That's a that was a good start. That was a good start. All right. So for your first foray into a power ballad, what are you going to give Slade? I'm gonna get him a ten. I don't know. I really like oh. that. <laughs> I'll put See, that in the- I'm gonna have a surprise hopefully next week when you do ratings. Mm-hmm. 